In this video, I'd like to show you how to use regression with dummy variables to forecast a seasonal time series. So uh, we're still um, uh, on the seasonality tab. So um, I'm just going to copy this uh, below so I can work on it e more easily. So um, here's uh, my data. So uh, demand is going to be my dependent variable. So it's going to be my y variable. And I will use explanatory variables to predict demand. Okay. My first explanatory variable will be time. Okay. Copy. Paste. Okay. So this is going to be my um, x variable. I will also have other x variables. Okay. So this time will capture trend. Okay, as time goes on, as the numbers increase, there will be a trend. But then I also will have a special variable for each of the periods in a season. Okay, so uh, I'm going to have, for example, dummy variable 1, dummy variable 2, dummy variable 3, and dummy variable 4. Okay. So dummy variable one, D1, will be one when I'm in the first season, in the first period, I'm sorry. Uh, so dummy two will be zero, zero, zero. Now, when I'm in the second period, this will be zero, D2 will be one, D3 and D4 will be zero. When I'm in period three, uh, D1 will be zero, D3, D2 will be zero, D three will be one and d four will be zero. When I'm in period four, d one, d two, d three will be zero, d four will be one. Now when the second season starts, I'm gonna go back to d one. Okay? So I can copy this here and then keep copying like this for all the seasons. So uh, whenever I'm in the first period of a season, D1 is going to be 1. So this is the first period of the first season, first period of the second season, first period of the third season, first period of the fourth season, etc. D2 uh, will be 1 whenever I'm in the second period of a season, similarly uh, D3 and D4. So let me uh, write just a file of these. Okay. So these are also uh, x variables, explanatory variables. Okay. So let's uh, do the regression. Uh, I'm going to click on data, data analysis. Scroll down a bit. Okay. Regression. Okay. So for the uh, y variable, I select demand. Demand. Now my x variables will be time d1, d2, and d3. Notice that I'm not including d4. And the reason for that is I don't need d4 because if I know what d1, d2, and d3 are, I can figure it out. So that's uh, redundant, unnecessary infor information. So I check labels because I have selected labels. Uh, for the output range, I'm going to specify somewhere. Excel expands this if necessary. Uh, and I'll, I'll, uh, I click on residuals, okay? Because residuals will also give me the predicted values, which I'm interested in. And then I click OK. So now I have my uh, regression results, okay? So uh, let's clean up the uh, formats. So two decimal places here, uh, two decimal places. Yeah, two decimal places. Okay. So if you look at R squared, it says this model 
where I have a uh, level, trend, and um, seasonality explains 99% of the variation. Okay, this is a very, very good model. So what does the model tell me? The model says my uh, y-axis intercept is uh, this, okay? My time trend is 1.09, which means that um, the trend increases by about one every month, every month, every period. And then here I have the uh, season-specific effects, okay? And as I scroll down, I have the uh, predicted values here. So these are the predicted demand, and these are the residuals. Let's add these to our graph above, okay? Let's add these and see how they look. So here, I right-click, uh, select data. Now we're going to add a uh, data series. So let's say, let's call this regression. This is the name. Let's let's name the uh, predicted values regression. X values will be these, 1 through 20. And Y values will be these, okay? Click OK and OK. OK. So let's see how this looks. Now, you can see the gray line almost exactly overlaps with the blue line. Gray line is the uh, are the predicted values from the regression with dummies. Blue line is uh, the actual demand. So you can see the... Uh, uh, Regression with dummies performs extremely well.